Let's just go over some editing. Let's go into the develop module. And the best place to start is by looking at your histogram. We can see got a little bit of black, good deal of shadow, not a lot of midtones, not a lot of highlights, and then we've got a really bright area. So let's see what we can do to uh, correct it. We can start with the white balance, grab the white balance eyedropper, and I'm going to think that something like this, maybe let's kind of check around here going to give us a, a good start. This is a particularly sunny day, um, but this is all in shadows, so the front may look a little more yellow than the back, which may look a little more blue. But that's a good place to start. The next is holding down Option, dragging the black bar until you get a little bit of pixel information, and then doing the same thing with the white. Okay, we still have some areas that are going to be have some uh, red, which are highlight uh, clipping warnings. But once we grab the highlight slider and we bring that down, we're going to be okay. We don't want to go too far because it takes off the time of day, the bright luminosity. And let's see. Maybe open up the shadows a little bit so that you can see more detail in the building. Texture, I want to give it some texture. I feel pretty good about that. Not a lot, just a little, but I feel pretty good. I'm going to hop down to lens corrections because how distorted this is is making me a little crazy. And doesn't have my particular camera. So I'm going to, I think, I probably can use the Canon one. And it's not really making that much of a difference. So I'm going to go to transform. And what I really wanted to do is kind of balance out. So that's before, that's with auto, not doing too much. There we go, there we go. Just a little on the slow side, so I appreciate your patience. That's what we needed, just to kind of level it out, and you could tell that the background was leaning backwards, and we just needed to bring that up into the right plane. So this is looking pretty good. Now I can try adding a bit of a tonal curve, if I'm not sure exactly how to uh, do that, I'm not sure where it needs contrast, I can try adding a medium contrast, just kind of a soft bit, or I can grab this guy, the targeted adjustment tool, and click and drag to add little points here. There you go. So I have an S-curve, which is just a little bit of an increase in contrast. And I did that by first adding a medium contrast tonal curve and then going in with the targeted adjustment tool and just kind of cleaning that up. Now, my exposure looks okay. My contrast, I adjusted here. I have addressed each of the parts of my histogram. One thing I need to do, though, is, and I did my lens corrections and transform. This is kind of bright and it's a little bit distracting. So I'm going to use one of our local adjustments. So these have all been global and now we have a local one right up here called the graduated filter. And it opens up an entire another little uh, menu. And what it allows you to do is click and drag, click and drag, let's see, there we go. I want to click here, there you go, sorry, my computer is a little on the slow side. 
click and drag into the image. And instead of adding exposure, I'm going to darken the foreground a little bit. And what that does is it shifts the emphasis back towards the people and the tourists. Um, this is a way of burning and dodging. Burning in a photograph adds additional exposure to parts of the photograph. Dodging withholds parts. Uh, exposure from parts of the photograph. So this is just one of the new local tools that we will be going through um, in the next video.